Do you want to do it? Let's both do it at the same time. Hi, Hi guys, guys welcome, welcome back, back to Paladone TV. TV. You, you know, know what, what we, we do. do. Yeah. <laughs> Gifts, <laughs> Games. gadgets, toys. No, this isn't working. Movie <laughs> merchandise. Mother's Day is coming up. Mother's Day, Mothering Sunday. The day of the year where everyone just celebrates their mothers or that mother figure that they have in their lives, whether it be your mum, your aunt, your grandma. Your mother from another brother. That's a thing. Women in our lives that we love dearly. Mum's a board of chocolates and flowers. It's official. We did a poll. We did an exit poll. And they're bored of flowers. They're bored of chocolates. Ooh. So we want to switch things up. So these are Paladone's top gifts for your mama. Tell me what the first gift is. Is this your surprise gift? Yes, I got a gift for your mother because I know she's. I kind of guessed what this might be. I heard fan. a rattling. I heard a bit of rattling. It's oh no! <laughs> the highlight this from last week. This thing has come back show. to haunt me. <laughs> I'm only joking. My parents thoroughly enjoyed this on our last outing. Yeah, well, my mum doesn't know what it is and I didn't want to explain. <laughs> We're going to dig into all kinds of things. We've got movies, we've got TV. But I'm going to start classic because this is probably our most mother-worthy brand. Dun, da, da, da. This... I don't know about you, but I was definitely shown this film at a young age. Big sort of Disney classic. Has a very sort of mother-child... Bambi! You know we don't do any Bambi products. It is the Dumbo-shaped mug. It's one of those films, I think, where everyone can relate to just how strong that bond is between Dumbo and his mother. And how adorable is this mug? Let's just hone in on how gorgeous this mug is. It's cute, isn't it? With his little hat and his ears. It's a nice good size as well. You could fit a very generous cup of tea in there. That's lovely. Well done. Very good choice indeed. Well now done. Well done, no, well done on a good choice. You've oh, done, okay, you've, thank you've, you. Um, I thought it was being sarcastic. From one Disney brand to another one, I'm sure most people know that Star Wars is Disney, and this is for your sci-fi mums out there, for all your movie fans. This is Ray, and it is an icon light from our excellent Paladin Icon series. These are a series of collectible lights that we've created across many brands, not just Star Wars, Harry Potter, Frozen, Super Mario, Zelda, Pac-Man. Anything Marvel. Anything Marvel. Really? Many, many more. There are loads and loads of ranges to collect. Whilst we're getting Ray out, I will tell you an interesting story about Ray. When Disney released the latest trilogy, so the first film, the latest trilogy, which was number seven, The Force Awakens, a long, long time since they'd released mm -hmm. a Star Wars movie and they kept all their cards really close to their chest. Well, I don't blame them. No, as you would. Of course, you keep your secrets, right? I feel like they should give people like Paladone a little bit more information because uh, us and most of the world who make the merchandise didn't realise who the lead character was. So we kind of had to do a little bit of guesswork. They didn't tell you? No, well we knew that Ray was in it, but we also knew that Captain Phasma was in it and all the other kind okay. of new characters and they wouldn't tell us which ones were going to be the leads. Understandably, keep it, keep it close to your chest, get mm -hmm. it, I understand. But what that ended up with was there was a huge lack of Ray merchandise for the launch of the film. Everyone went and saw the film, loved her, strong, empowered, mm -hmm. female, kicking some butt left, right and centre. And no merchandise. And she was nowhere to be seen. No Merchandise, or very little merchandise to go and get your hands on. But boy, did they come up with an amazing character. So there we go. That's that's your sci-fi mum sorted. Are you a Friends fan? I am. What do mums always love on Mother's Day? Well, we think they do. I'm not a mum, I wouldn't know. A photo frame with their child's picture in. On the door in Monica and Rachel's apartment, they have that very iconic little yellow photo frame that goes around the peephole. So we have done that as well. Good solid Look bit of that. work, that, isn't it? It is. You can stand it up. There is also a hook on the back so you can do the lovely thing of hooking it on the back of your door. If you've got a peephole on your door or even just on the back of your bedroom door, you know, some people like to do that little sign saying, you know, keep out, this is my room or nice. whatever. So this one doesn't have a photo in, but we do actually have one with a photo in so you can see how lovely Aww. it will look. Yep, a lovely member of our team. This is a picture of Chelsea's mother. It's not, it's not my mother. Is that James? That is James, That yeah. is James. Lovely picture of you and your mum in the photo frame. We've covered a lot of licenses here. Some classic Disney, some Star Wars, some TV, which is excellent. We mm -hmm. like that a lot, but not every mum loves a license. Not everyone no. mum is into that pop culture no, that's stuff. that's true. So I've got a very cool item because my mother, she's always been relatively proactive on mm -hmm. the exercise front. The other day she was showing off in my lounge with her two kilograms, oh, giving it a bit of, she was, yeah, giving it a bit of that and whilst my mother is not exactly a bodybuilder I'm almost certain would appreciate and if she wouldn't then a mum out there definitely would appreciate this kettlebells are all the rage and this is our kettlebell shaped mug it does what it says on the tin it is a mug shaped like a kettlebell how heavy for all is those it? strong mums is it actually there. 16 kilograms I don't think so <laughs> 
so you can see the weight on that side, but actually we have stuck a hilarious pun on the back. It says weighty, and then the slogan is gain muscle, quench thirst. That is one of many, many shape mugs we do at Paladin. You can check out the whole range. I mean, you can oh, see there's a couple here, but- a ridiculous amount. And the old plumbus, but there's literally like hundreds. I think that'd be great if it was a teapot, like the spout there. It it, that's gross. Why yeah, aren't I an MPD? All these great ideas today. I'm carrying on with the animal theme. I don't know why I've just been drawn to them today. With the Hedwig shaped mug, one of the most recognisable characters in the Harry Potter series, I'd say, along with like the animals and magical Dobby, creatures. Yeah, Hedwig, Dobby, Hedwig. Scratters. You mean scabbers? Can you just imagine this sitting on your shelf, lined up with everything else? You don't even have to use it as a mug if you don't want I don't even to. have to imagine. It is on my shelf at home. And if they're not a Harry Potter fan, but they are an owl fan, just give it to them without the packaging. It could just be a lovely snowy owl. Look at the lovely detail on the mug. I don't know if you can catch it from here, but it's got lovely little textured effects as if they were little feathers. She looks a bit grumpy. Heavy, haven't we? we have gone mug heavy. But I do think that they always say there's a mug for every occasion. We're a big, big believer of Every that, occasion, uh, every person. My mum is a huge Harry Potter fan. She got so she would like this mug. Child. She would love that mug. Okay. The reason I've chosen this product is because it's not just Harry Potter. It is functional. I mean, it is feminine. Ish. The design on this is absolutely beautiful. So this is our latest Hogwarts notebook. We have made a few in the past before. We're gonna get the packaging off super quickly because the design is what it's all about. This is one of the latest style guides to come out of the Harry Potter uh, franchise. And this one is just beautiful. Look at the mm. color on that. Floral and yet still very, very Harry it's Potter. It's like a botanical theme. Hogwarts. And then you've got the detail of the actual notebook itself. So you've got your gold lined pages as well. You've got another emblem on the back there. On the inside, Ooh. a version of that print repeated. So you've got a repeat print. And then as you look through, you get the Hogwarts emblem in purple. Beautiful. Do you know what the Hogwarts like school slogan is? I didn't know they had one. Their slogan is never tickle a sleeping dragon. Oh. And it's something like Nendo, yeah, Nendo Tempris Draco Sleep Snorum, Draco Snorum, Sleeping Dragon, something like that. Never tickle a sleeping dragon. That is the Hogwarts motto. And I did not know that. Today's lesson. I like how they've gone for something different. You know, it's very easy to do dark burgundy with the gold emblem. Yeah. Warner have really sort of gone outside their comfort zone this time. I love it. You could almost hone in on that whole botanical herbology. 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 I have one product left, in my opinion, from one of the greatest films of all time. Bambi! It's not, it's not Bambi. With probably one of the best British actresses of all time. The film I'm talking about is Mary Poppins. This is the hardest product <laughs> to get on camera. I, I regret this product instantly. <laughs> this is our take on the Mary Poppins umbrella. So anyone who's seen the film knows, A, the umbrella talks. Obviously that's not possible right now because talking umbrellas don't exist. Mary um, Poppins. That's Bert, not the umbrella. Mary Poppins. Okay. Come on, that's good. Yeah, you tell yourself that. No, it. This has been one of our best sellers, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been huge. Definitely. And it's been around for two years. Two years, two years and it's still going strong. Can I open it? Well, I really like umbrellas that do this. It's got a button, so you don't need to physically push the umbrella up yourself. Are you ready? Ah! Woo! Oh, that was good. <laughs> that was good, except we now can't be seen. So let's just talk about the fact that it says practically perfect in every way. Oh, no, that's which... a much better quote, isn't it? I should have gone it's... with that quote. What I like about that is that it is, as this is a gift, it's kind of a sentiment as well, isn't it? So it's, it is. it's to that perfect mother. You are saying to your mum that you are practically perfect in every way. That's what I like about some of these gifts that we have here. Or oh, in fact, all of these gifts. They are functional. It's not just a novelty item that you're buying for someone. They are lights, they are mugs, photo sentiment. frames. And given the fact that we live in Britain, and given the fact that it rains probably about 80% of the year, who wouldn't love a Mary Poppins umbrella? Well, I think my mother would be quite happy with all of these. And actually, this is going to come out just in time because I haven't bought anything for my mother yet. Oh, well, just take some of these. Plumbus. Hopefully, we've inspired you today to find something for your mother from our excellent collection. There's plenty more where it came from. Do head to the website, check out all the other amazing products. If you choose one of our products to give to your mum, stick it in the comments. Quack it on Instagram, as the mm. kids... The kids say. Thanks for stopping by and watching our videos. If you liked it, hit that like button. If you want to see more of our videos, hit that subscribe button. And to make sure you don't miss any of them, hit that alarm bell just down there. And what will happen when they do, Alex? Next time we upload a video, we will call your mum, got her on a speed dial. We'll let her know there's a new video ready for you to watch. She'll pass on the message. Have a good week. Bye.